It's pretty easy, actually. There's methods. If something is too difficult, first of all, it's usually because you're making a problem out of it. Uh, it's not because it is a problem. Because what you think might be a problem is probably not a problem for somebody else. So it's just a very, uh, very um, individual kind of thing. If in that moment you see a problem with a note, think about the note just before. So that you don't think about the problem. You don't get obsessed about that problem. If you identify a problem somewhere, don't go there. Yeah? Now, if it's still a problem using this kind of way around it, um, you, of course, what you've got to do is uh, go for it technically, uh, which means you've got to destruct that problem with a, with a certain process. You slow down things, you pick up the metronome, turn it on, very important. Um, and, and use a slower tempo than the one that's originally written for that bit. Half the tempo. Start at half the tempo. And always play before you go one step higher in the tempo. Never play the problem, the problem alone, but just take a few bars before so that it's in the flow. And then, and then before you gradually go up, turn up the, 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 the tempo, Playing it one time correctly is not enough. You've got to go another time, a second time, and a third time. Three times in a row, right. Then you know it. Then you can move on to the next level of difficulty. So speed up a little bit. Yeah? But always three times in a row correctly. Sometimes I had concentration problems when I was a younger student, like 15, 16. I was, my head was full of other things. Uh, and I was just practicing to please my parents from that time of the day until that time of the day. And sometimes I was just thinking, ah, I, don't, I don't know what. So many things that are, I have forgotten, but that in that moment seemed to be so much more important. But then at, at a certain point, I realized, when I decided, OK, I want to be, become a flute player, professional flute player, I got to do this seriously. I put myself under pressure, and I said, OK, you're going to play uh, Rodrigo, Concerto. If you make a mistake, any time in the first movement, you start from the beginning again even if it's the, the note before the last. You, know? you, and you always throw yourself back to the very beginning of the piece. That's very good for concentration, because you don't do this mistake <laughs> more than two or three times. You, and you really start learn how to focus and really focus, because you don't want to go through the whole thing over and over again. So the, in the beginning, it took me, you know, it, you get your, your critical way of seeing things. You can really train that. So in the beginning, it took me like one and a half hours to get through one movement. And a couple of days later, it took me maybe only 20 minutes. And then a week later, it took me only 10 minutes, just because I was able to focus much better and to be in command of everything that's happening. But you have to go through this process. And, and uh, three times in a row, without mistake, then you can speed up a little bit. That's really a secret of uh, eliminating any kind of problem. 